Hey guys, it's Michelle here. I wanted to share with you an album that I just finished making. Um, I know it's been quite a while since I've uh, posted any videos or actually been working in my craft room. Um, all the craft fairs and so forth, I just I got a little burnt out so I had to take a break. But I appreciate everybody who's been watching the videos and I really appreciate that you guys who are subscribing to my channel. Um, it just tickles me to death and I really appreciate it and I hope that you continue to watch and leave me comments and let me know if there's something that you would like to see. Well, I started out today with uh, this uh, lady's diary that I've made. It's a photo album and I use the Graphic 45 Ladies Diaries. If you're familiar with Graphic 45, which I know a lot of you are, absolutely beautiful paper. I actually have two sets of it that I have been hoarding for a while but I saw a video um, from Scrap Queen. Uh, she's becoming one of my favorite uh, YouTube uh, channels to watch. Uh, she's really hilarious and she does absolutely beautiful albums. So we start off with the front. I have um, a cluster of roses. I'm using Pr uh, Prima. I've got some um, I Am roses and uh, some little uh, baby roses and the tans and whites and little peach colors that kind of bring out the paper. And then I added a little bling here at the top and down here at the corner. And I added one of Tim Holtz knob and a little metal piece underneath it from AliExpress. And then on this side, there we go, I used another one of Tim, Holt, Tim Holtz metal pieces. And on the back, I didn't add too much. I uh, fussy cut out a rose down there and then I put the lady's diary up on here. Um, it just has a elastic band closure and it just fits around the top of the knob. Alright, for page one, I'll try and keep all this in frame for you. Alright, we have a little pocket on the side here. It's just a, for a photo mat. And it slides right in there. And then I have a uh, paper cut out, a picture cut out from the paper, and it flips open. And then I have another picture here, and I left it open in the back, so you can just kind of tuck something underneath there. Then I have a little pocket here, and it has, I love this little car. I think that is so cool. You can see it there. I'll just put in a couple little, uh, photo mats there and that is a magnetic closure now on this side we've got a couple little flips it flips outward then I have a little uh, tag from the sticker sheet and then one of the little cutouts from the paper collection I left this part so you could put a photo and then this side also opens and I must have cut out a lot of the flowers and the clocks in, in the paper collection and I just left it open so you could just tuck something down inside there. And this side here is a pocket. Alright, now on this side here I have a couple little flip out. So you put a full photo here and a little 4x6 or 3x5 photos there. And this one I have it's just a little photo mat. And then I took cut out the uh, little stamps like and I made a uh, tuck spot for it. And 
And then I have three pockets here for photos. I like these little postcards. I think that is so cool. And then this side here comes here. And then each one of these flips up. And then each one of them also flips down again. And I made a little pocket there. And of course this top section it does the same. Flips down. And you have a flip up. And then another little tuck spot there. And I use some uh, the buttons from the uh, chipboard pieces, and I just put a little piece of twine inside there. Okay, on this side, <coughs> we have a little flip up for some tiny folders. <coughs> Excuse me, for some tiny pictures. <laughs> and then this is a swing tab, and then we have a little photo mat there. I have a uh, chipboard piece from the collection with a little um, seam binding that I dyed with my uh, Lindsay spray. And then this flips out. And I have another little pocket here where you can actually see it. I have a little pocket there. And then this flips out. And you have a full page here. And then I made a little tuck space here to put a photo mat. And then I've got this, as you might recognize it, it's a Tim Holtz cut out uh, die, cutting die. And then I cut out, so cut some of the paper. All right. And this page here, I made just like a belly band, but then it has a little stop at the bottom. It just slides out here through the top. Um, these I actually just found it this past weekend. I'd already started making the um, album, and this past weekend I found um, these. They're by Tim Holtz, and I got them on half off at um, Joann's. And I thought they were, we probably saw them when they were here. I thought they were really, really cute. I can't remember if you could see it there. Here. I thought they were really pretty, so I added them on to the page there. And I have these couple of photo mats, and they just slide underneath the chipboard piece. This page I thought was so cute. Um, again, it's not my design. The um, paper, I don't have in, it in the exact places because I didn't have as much paper as she did. I had already fussy cut it out a bunch of... Um, the images so I just wanted to try and stick one pack and not get into my other pack but um, this here is tied with some seam binding which is also uh, dyed with the Lindy's stamp gang spray and it's magnetized and it comes up and it has a spot uh, for a photo there and then this one's also magnetized and it has a spot for a photo there and then, of course, you have room all back on each side. Then you have a full page here. And then that one opens. And then, if you hold it like this, maybe that will help. We have a flip out here with um, a little side pocket. And then they have these little corners with the Sizzix tie that I used. And just slide in there. And that's also magnetized. And then I have a full page here. Now on this side here, um, I use the Sizzix. Sizzix. Man, I cannot say that today. A Sizzix die, and then also cut um, uh, from the paper collection. And then down here, I have this twine. I put uh, a little metal embellishment and then one another one of those buttons and I left a little bit of space. I put a little spacer in there so this could wrap around it and I put one of those little metal pieces or Tim Holtz inside there if it'll pick it up. And then this one flips up and I'll start with this one here. 
I, as I said, I did a lot of fussy cutting, so I have little tuck spots here um, with a lot of the flowers and the clocks. I still don't even think I can get this whole thing in there. There we go. <clears throat> and then there's that little car. I glued him down there. And then I took this and some more from the cut aparts. Then I got a couple little ladies down here. And then again, I left this um, open so you could tuck a photo down inside. Let's close up. And then for my, oh, and I put a little key charm on the bottom of this just to give that uh, twine some weight to it. And the very last page, I have a uh, swing tab with one of the chipboard pieces. And then that flips open so you can add a photo with the pocket here with a couple more photo mats. So that's what I have today. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, like I said, leave me a comment, any questions. I'll be more than happy to, to reply. And let me know if there's something out there that y'all have wanted to see. Um, and I'll see if I can make it. Everybody have a good day. Bye.